Hello, calling friends. So today we'll see results for last week's uh, prompt fire for our challenge finding color. Um, I've got uh, 54 submitted works uh, for this prompt. It's a little bit less than usually, uh, but nevertheless, uh, there's quite a choice of uh, different fires. Um, you will see bonfires, torches, f fireplaces, uh, candles, um, uh, some uh, fire-breathing dragons, a few phoenix birds, uh, Melisandre from Game of Thrones, um, uh, some fires are of medium size, I would say, but there are a lot of very small size uh, that uh, it's going to be hard to notice uh, while you're watching um, a slideshow. Um, uh, the most uh, often repeating illustration is maybe by Hannah Carlson from uh, Forest Kingdom coloring book. Uh, on the second place, I would say, is Kerberosana's books, uh, but different. Uh, Mythomorphia, uh, Geomorphia, Walls Within Walls. Uh, there are a couple of illustrations by John Besford and even Chintaka Herath. Uh, not often you can see illustrations by that artist. Uh, and of course, many, many others. Uh, for this prompt, I decided to color from Keanu Reeves' coloring book by Maurizio Campidelli. I colored in this book in March, and somehow I felt like coloring again. Especially I like this illustration, a very peaceful and romantic looking. Uh, this one, mm, Camping Keanu, and that's uh, my result. Um, usually I don't like a uh, coloring picture where there is some landscape, you know, trees, a lot of sky, um, but um, at times I feel like um, I want to color something like that and I really color it with pleasure. As it happened with this illustration, I enjoyed coloring these uh, trees and the sky and everything else, Keanu of course, in his checkered short. And um, I even had no trouble with coloring a fire here, <coughs> bonfire. Maybe because uh, it was uh, drawn neatly and it was really easy just to follow the drawing and I'm pleased with the result, how the fire looks, and actually how everything looks. I used the Derwent Ink Tense here um, <clears throat> as a base la layer, and then I used uh, different uh, color pencils. The sky is done only with pencils. Uh, white gel pen, of course, uh, for the stars. So it was really enjoyable, enjoyable coloring for me, and I'm uh, I'm pleased with the result. <clears throat> and so now uh, let's see all the other submitted works, all those fires, and I hope you will enjoy it. Let's go.
That was our final slideshow for last week's prompt fire. Uh, thank you everyone who joined and sent uh, their works for this prompt. And now as always, let me take my magical box and draw a new uh, prompt for the upcoming week. Exciting as always. Let's find out. friends we've got prompt frog um, <laughs> it was kind of unexpected for me though of course all the prompts was written by me and put in the, that magical box uh, but it was a long time ago a year ago when I did that and so about some prompts I forgot completely that I have them and frog is one of such prompts that uh, I didn't remember I have in, in the box. Um, I can't say that I ever colored any frogs, maybe very small ones only. <clears throat> I know there is a uh, rather big size frog in John Besford's book, uh, Secret Garden, I believe it is. There are some frogs in Hannah Carlson's books as well. Mm, rather than that, I don't recall anything. And uh, no more illustrations with frogs. So I'm curious whether I'll be able to find uh, something more, some more frogs. Mm, doesn't sound too much exciting for me, <laughs> coloring frogs. Mm, but anyway, going to be challenged, I guess. So now I'm off to look through my coloring box and I'm curious. And see you in a second. So I'm back. Sometimes uh, when you get a prompt and you feel like mm, you don't feel excited about this and you think you won't find any interesting illustrations for this prompt you don't feel enthusiastic about that prompt and that was uh, what happened with me when I saw this prompt frog. I was not enthusiastic, I didn't expect to find interesting pictures for this prompt, but surprise, surprise, I did find um, quite a lot of illustrations, more than I have thought I have. and. Um, there's quite a choice of really uh, interesting illustrations for me that I feel like I want to color those. Uh, so, and it turned out that I have colored frogs already and not only microscopic but rather bigger in size uh, from this book Nature Scapes by Patricia, Patricia Wynn and here they are, these frogs, not that small, right? <laughs> Rather colorful. And here I used Arteza brush pens, I remember. So I do have some experience in coloring frogs. And so let me show what I have found. 
Of course, the first frog that I remembered, John the Bassford, but it turned out not from Secret Garden, but from Enchanted Forest. And this famous frog, at the time, it was quite popular. Many people colored this frog, but I haven't so. I believe uh, now when no, uh, no one coloring this book, or at least very seldom, it would be more interesting to color this illustration. Then Circle of Life, I remembered, yeah, when I saw this book, I remembered straight away that there is a frog in this book too. Uh, this illustration with frogs Circle of Life but to be honest, I don't feel that excited about this illustration. If I don't have any other pictures, maybe. Uh, but I doubt that this one is going to be my choice. <laughs> but you never know. <coughs> Hannah Carlson Seasons. Surprisingly, I do love this illustration. But it's a double spread and I'm afraid that I won't be able to finish it in time. There is a lot of frogs and here and here here we have and they're rather cute looking. Then Zimla Snova, Tamislav Tomic. Uh, there is this double spread with a lot of frogs. Like you can see here one, and then here, here, here another one. But it's a double spread. No way I can finish it in time, but there is another picture. Not a double spread, but a single page. Uh, frogs here are not big ones. These are what I call microscopic, but there is a lot of them even in her uh, hands. A very cute illustration on the whole. Uh, the Princess by Anne Kronheimer. Another cute illustration with frogs and crowns. Nothing complicated about this one, I think. Uh, Kerberosan's Fragile wool World. Yeah, there is this illustration uh, that many people have colored already with these cute frogs. And Korean coloring book uh, Fairy Tales. And this uh, illustration from Fairy Tale when princess needed to kiss this frog, I believe, something like that. <laughs> Here we see a Korean princess. And some PDF uh, illustrations. Uh, this one from Moonlit Vale by Anne Gerard. A very beautiful illustration with a frog as the main character, surprisingly. <laughs> mm, there and this one from Princess uh, from Wild by Nature coloring book, Leslie Smitherengale. There is a lot of frogs. Uh, then Jane F. Hankins. Very cute illustration. Uh, so joyous. <laughs> really love this one. And another one by the same artist. Again, very funny. Uh, Chet Minton. Um, these are very small frogs. But anyway, I do love this illustration because there are a lot of details and you notice them only when you start looking closely. And I always think if to color his illustration that everything could be seen 
more easy it would look really beautiful by the way there's an apple here <laughs> we call it for apple prompt recently and then Christian Karen the frog prince uh, again another cute beautiful illustration with a frog so quite a choice and quite interesting exciting illustrations uh, so if you didn't like this prompt at first look through a coloring book uh, books maybe you'll be surprised as me and you'll find something interesting uh, for you to color so I'll be waiting for your works uh, see you next time bye